So people love the Blonde Dock saga. It's been a big source of traffic on our news outlet, and there have been folks complaining over the last few weeks that I've been writing more boring stories and not writing enough on the Blonde Dock saga. Well, haven't had much of a reason to write something about it. And again, as an outlet that doesn't rely on clickbait like the mainstream media, I try to only write about things when there's something relevant and something newsworthy. Well, this week there are multiple developments in the Blonde Dock saga that I do believe are newsworthy. Let me just run through a few of them contained in our most recent report. First, first we've got news that Whitney Baxley, Whitney Boltinghouse Baxley, let me say her full name, she prefers to be called by her full name, Whitney Boltinghouse Baxley, who's one of the alleged victims of Dr. Kim Hawks, the Blonde Dock, she appeared in a family court in Lexington County yesterday regarding a motion to quash a subpoena. Now, Lawyers for Kim Hawks are seeking all of Whitney Boltinghouse Baxley's text records and other uh, evidence in connection with her divorce case from John Hawks, who was the Richland County deputy, who was, again, the focus of a SLED investigation based on allegations Kim Hawks made last December. Uh, The judge did not rule on that motion to quash the subpoena, but Baxley was in court, and our news outlet was apparently quite the topic of conversation in that court hearing. But we've also got some other developments in this case. There is another doctor. Another doctor at Lexington Medical Center at the family practice where Kim Hawks used to work, who is apparently the focus of a LLR investigation. For those of you unfamiliar with the alphabet soup bureaucracy in Columbia, LLR is the South Carolina Department of Labor, Licensing, and Regulation. Now, we don't know what this investigation is focused on, but we do know that Kim Hawks, former partner at the family uh, practice there on Lake Murray, uh, part of the Lexington Medical Center, is the focus of an LLR inquiry. We'll call it a preliminary inquiry for now. One other bit of news on the Black Dock saga. For those of you who have been following the Murdoch murders, crime and corruption saga, you know that one of the moves made by someone who's under pressure, who's under a threat of civil judgment, who is facing a, a storm of legal activity, one of the moves they can make is to confess judgment, which is to say to someone that they know, someone that they've had financial dealings with, someone in their family, someone they're connected to, someone they think they might get some money back from, they confess judgment to this person saying, I will acknowledge I owe you this money. And that puts that person, excuse me, at the very front of the line to receive funds from the person who's under suit. So Kim Hawks did that. She did it on February 24th. She confessed judgment in the amount of $150,000 to her former investor, which indicates to me that we're looking at something very similar to what Alec Murdoch did when he confessed judgment to his brother in connection with some of the the financial allegations that have been leveled against him. So a lot happening in the Blonde Dock saga, a lot of developments in the case. For the very latest, you can check it out at fitznews.com. But count on us to continue following this story as Kim Hawks was a a very prominent family practitioner uh, here in the Midlands region of South Carolina, well-known, well-liked by her patients, uh, but she is now in the middle of a Category 5 Scheissesturm, as we say, as we Germans say. Anyway, stay tuned for more on that on Fitz News. Thanks for tuning in.